first like came here, I was started to live here. The school was completely different, and it was more of a hardcore, you know, base. The fighters, you know, the, the guys were grappling, competing a lot, and little by little, we started making the school for everyone. Wall Street executive, uh, blue collar guys, fighters, everyone. I mean, we have every kind of, you know, uh, students here, like guys from Europe, Africa, Asia, you know, wherever, like from all over the US. When they come here, it doesn't matter who they are outside or what they do or where they come from, you know, what matters is what they are here. So it's never, never advertised. There's never been a sign outside or, you know, even this place here, it's on 224 West 30th Street, Manhattan. Manhattan, there's no sign outside. Like recently, I think this last year, Henzo actually has a sign out front. The best part about it is now, you know, the academy is huge and they got classes pretty much every single day. You can train seven days a week, you know, a couple hours a day, which is great for those of us that are nuts enough to do that. <laughs> it's similar to what I would think, you know, when I think about the stories that I, I hear Master Carlos tell me about, and kind of what was going on back then when everybody was in Brazil, I, I, I feel like this is the best representation of that. You know, have a, guy, a lot of guys that are kind of ragging on each other, or you know, the camaraderie is really cool, is a close-knit family. It's when you experience a camaraderie, and you experience a brotherhood, and you experience a, a, a group of guys that you just are all on the same page, and you're all in the same goal, and you're all looking to accomplish the similar things your success rate is much higher. And of course, we're here, we have everything for a person who wants to fight, whether it's MMA, grappling events, or Jiu-Jitsu, or no gi, so we have we have all the tools, all the resources for, for the competitor or for the uh, average warrior. What's great here is like you have 12 to 15 black belts teaching on staff. Nowhere else has that. Do you know what I mean? So if I have a question about something, I can ask any number of black belts here. I can ask John, I can ask Henzo, Igor, Gregor, Hollis. Magno, anyone, and they're going to give me different answers, but the right answer. Hanzo created like so many good black belts, you know. Uh, Ricardo Almeida, Matt Sierra, John, you know, they pass it on. They started a new school and they have awesome black belts as well, you know. So uh, Hanzo is an unbelievable teacher and he was able to to create that, you know, he, he built a, such a strong army. I've generated a lot of gyms. You know, one thing that I find that's really unique about this gym and, and really, you know, I, I find as, as a fan of jujitsu is it's just, it's flooded with so many professors that have just an endless amount of information and, and, and uh, you know, tools that you can utilize. Aqui, uma coisa que eu gosto muito aqui é o material humano. Tem muita gente e sempre tem gente visitando. Uma coisa é você treinar. Se eu treinar com você todo dia, você vai pegar meu jogo e eu vou pegar o seu jogo. Sempre tem alguém novo, sempre tem alguém visitando. Grandes atletas, por exemplo, Roger vem aqui, Romulo Barral, Braulio. Tem grandes atletas que vêm visitar a academia e tem essa oportunidade de aprender. Se você olhar quem é quem no mundo que faz artes marciais, você sabe que a lot of the champions, a lot of the top people in that, in, in the sport, train within the Henzo Bridge system. Eu já treinei com o Sam Pierre, já treinei com o Chris Weidman, já treinei com uma galera, já vi o Frank treinar, já vi muita gente assim top. E fora outros que são muito duros e são desconhecidos. Assim, tem os caras que são desconhecidos do mundo de, da luta, assim, mas são faixas pretas duríssimos e trocam experiências assim. Sempre vai ter alguma coisa nova para aprender. You know, uh, if you come here on a Monday, for example, the Nogi Clash, you may see you know guys, world champion, UFC world champions, World Series fighting world champions, Bellator world champions, training jiu-jitsu, but you also see guys, you know, that are you know just doing it as a hobby that want to. Stay in shape, learn something for self-defense, uh, you know, and, and have fun. 
and you know you have amazing training partners like Holes and 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 Gregor and Igor and and I mean this the talent that they produced out of this gym it's 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 no wonder why the, the guys are at the caliber that they are. And uh, New York's the capital of the world. Anytime there's somebody here, you know, uh, the gym almost every week we have a, a visitor, somebody training here. So it's good that you get to learn a lot from that also. You know, the guys come in from a different gym, a different culture, and they always bring in new tools and new uh, styles to the gym. And, you know, it, it kind of evolves everybody together. Hoje em dia ele cresceu, acho que de uma forma tão grande que qualquer um é jiu-jitsu é para todo mundo, como o Carlos queria. And, you know, first of all, Henzo is a mixed martial art legend. You know, he's one of the pioneers that has brought mixed martial arts to the United States back in the day when there were no gloves, no rules. But what makes it special, I think, is the focus on sort of the submission aspect of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. For a while. Uh, it, I think the East Coast was more considered to be more of a no gi crowd, and the gi, the gi guys in the West Coast are like gi, and the East Coast likes no gi. I think uh, Hazel has a big uh, spread, uh, competitor spirit, and he, he taught that to all the guys, and that's why I think it's like this here. And then you have the Muay Thai program, uh, you have a wrestling program, you have a boxing program. Like there's so much going on here. You know, it's still like we're all still Hazel Gracie. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you know, we all, you know, we wear it with pride. The loyalty is the strongest part of our team for sure. You know, we're very close together and, and it's family. And here in New York, Hans was the pioneer here. He was the first guy to be here. If you're a tourist, you have to go to the statue. If you're a tourist of Jiu-Jitsu, you have to go to Hans Grace Academy. Is hitting here almost every day, you know, dropping in. He'll sit on a bench and he'll be looking at you and be like, hey, do this, do this, don't do this, do this, this. Sometimes he'll even just throw in a gi and start rolling with you. Tinha muito tempo que ele não assistia meu treino. Outro dia ele sentou ali, três coisas que ele fala, faz isso, 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 já muda a sua cabeça, não é o seu seu jogo. He, he created like a family, you know, like uh, I, 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 I'm here. And uh, I don't miss like Brazil so much because all my brothers live here. I have a lot of cousins who live here. My best friends from Brazil, and that's only because of Hendo. Because what he created in such a good environment, you know, he created a big family. It's an awesome environment, you know. So it's a uh, he, he did a great job on that. It's a certain, you know, just charm and charisma that he has. And when he walks in the room, you're like, even to me today, man, after like maybe, I think 16, 17 years, he walks in the room, you're still kind of like, <sighs> he's here, you know? Hans, I think Hans was a pioneer here in New York City. And now we see a lot of schools and people, people, you know, coming over here and opening the schools and being successful. I think Hans has everything to do with this. Aqui em Nova York você vê gente do mundo inteiro. Essa mistura é muito bom. Nova York é a capital do mundo, então junta tudo aqui. Eu acho isso muito legal aqui na, na as culturas diferentes. You know, New York City is a it's a it's an interesting place, you know, to open an academy. And you really, you know, Henzo was the first one who did it, you know, because again, you know, he came here, he opened up an academy and like, you know, without even advertising. And it's 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 such a it's a hard place. New York City is a hard place. It's hustle, it's bustle. Everyone's on their grind. They want to get in, they want to get out. And like, you know, it kind of like translates and transfers to the map. So like people want to get in and we want to go and we want to go hard. We want to get it, get it in, and then we want to get out. It definitely like, uh, you know, this brings some character to this school with everybody here. Like, you know, it's more on a faster pace. They want to come in, get the rolling going, get out, go to a meeting, you know. But I think the, the, the thing about Jiu Jitsu is 
people use it as a, as a, as a therapy a little bit. I think they want to, when they get in here, they come into this basement, I think they forget what's going on above ground and they get into like a, you know, more of a, a zen mentality. They just want to get their, their fix, let's put it this way, you know, their like moment of peace and relaxation. I think we're changing the, 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 the citizens of, of New York, but instead of the city changing us. Yeah. <laughs>